Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tony and this is TC's Outdoors. So if you guys saw probably maybe two videos ago when I was uh, noodling down, don't knock the camera over doodle. You guys wanna turn around and see the doodles? So there's the team, they were, here's my helpers in the shop today, trying to knock over the, uh, the camera for me. So, so today I wanna dig into the Echo and see if we can figure out this oiling problem. Um, I have watched a few videos on replacing the oil pump if I need to dig into it that far. Uh, but first, we're going to check out the bar. So I had a lot of great comments on the last video. Everybody let me know that I should check out the oiling hole on the uh, bar. Make sure it didn't get plugged up. I guess they're prone to plug up when you're noodling, which I didn't know. So uh, I'll give that, a chop, or give that a shot first. Uh, so we'll get moved over here. I'll try to get you up over my shoulder. And I'll pull the bar and chain off. And uh, we'll check everything out. Run it for a minute. See if we got any oil coming out. And we will uh, we'll, all, we'll we'll learn how to do this together so uh here we go all right guys so the first thing i'm going to do is just take this bar off here Ugh. dang it that's tight Hopefully this is, all it is is the bar's plugged up, but uh, if it's not, then we will dive in a little deeper. I've already looked, the oil pumps aren't super expensive, it's only like 20 bucks for another pump, so um, that's not bad. The worm gear is kind of like the same price, so if I got to replace them both, um, there is oil in there, but I just don't think it's pumping enough or something. So there's the chain, and there's the bar. And there is a little bit of sawdust in there, but it's still, and if you can see the oiling hole on these Samara bars is pretty big right here. Um, I just find it hard to believe that that wouldn't find its way into the bar. We're gonna pop this situation off here. I'm gonna go grab a rag real quick, stand by. And we are So, um, I think what I'm going to do is I take this outside and blow it off real quick and then I'll come back and we will reconvene and we'll see what we can see here. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so <clears throat> I got it all blown off and we'll wipe all the oil off of it and then I think, I mean it is oiling but it's just not... It didn't seem to be oiling the bar enough. And I don't know, some of the videos I watched of guys running their saws just sitting on the bench with nothing on there, the oil was really pouring out. So I don't know, maybe there's crud built up behind this clutch cover, um, but we'll find out. So first thing, I'm gonna start it and we will see how much oil comes off of it. So. coming out but it's not very much in my opinion um, I don't know how the volume of oil that we're supposed to have here maybe I'll have to look that up but I do know that they're adjustable so we're gonna check that um, down underneath here there's a looks like I think it's a Phillips head screw we'll make sure that's backed all the way out and uh, see where we're at maybe if I can find a screwdriver and it is not a Phillips head. It is a straight blade. Okay, so. And I can 
can only imagine that out. I gotta find a small screwdriver. All right, let me find a different screwdriver. Okay, so. Okay, so it's, it's, it's open. Ooh, maybe it's open all the way. So that's backed out all the way, so that should be as much as it'll flow. Let's try the kill switch. probably making you sick moving you all over the place but that is excellent news because now that thing is really pumping so I don't know if maybe uh, I don't know I don't know nothing let me but look at the oil coming out of it now hopefully you can guys see that on camera I'll start it again here in a minute and uh, we can compare the two but that is definitely oil and now let me you guys down there so you can see if you're echo CS 590 owners All right, so on the bottom of the saw, there's this little little uh, cutout right here, and it's hard to see inside there, but there's a uh, little flat head screw that, of course, the only flash that I have is this big one, but I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Uh, probably not, but so take my word for it. On the bottom of the pump, there is an adjustment, and it, I don't know if it's from vibration or what, but it had, it's only like, it doesn't really adjust much, so I'll run it all the way the one way, and we'll see what happens. I've got it turned all the way in, which I would imagine would be the least amount of flow, and uh, we start the saw. We'll see. So hopefully you guys can see that it is pumping, but it's not pumping much. And I think that was my problem. That's exciting news because that's a really cheap fix. All right, so we will spin that screw again if I can see it. And open it all the way up. It'd be nice if it stayed open. We'll see. Hopefully, uh, I guess I'll have to keep an eye on that. So now we'll run it like that. I don't know if I can start it on the bench. Probably not. Okay. I would say that we found the problem. Um, it's just the adjustment had maybe vibrated its way in or what have you. I'll have to keep an eye on it, but the pump is definitely pumping now. So. Who knew? There's an oil hole in the end of that too. You're supposed to oil the end of your bar? Do you guys know? Can somebody tell me? Because uh, I never have, so maybe I should start. Uh, either way, the saw is fixed. That was a pretty easy fix. Um, I wasn't sure if you got an Echo CS 590 and you didn't know that your oiler was adjustable, that would make two of us because I had no idea until I started looking into, you know, if the uh, oil pump was or how to replace it. And uh, I saw that they were adjustable. So I thought I would start there. Um, I talked to Eric Sawyer. He said he had it wide open when he was running it at his house when he was doing the port job. So I don't know if it got bumped when it was getting shipped, jostled around in the box or what have you. But uh, or if the vibration of the saw maybe just was closing it. I'm not really sure. I'll have to keep an eye on it. But I do know that it was cutting really bad. It was cutting crooked. Um, I couldn't get a straight cut out of anything. When I was noodling those rounds, I'm not sure if you noticed in that video, I'll throw a link to that video right here. Um, at the tail end of every cut, there was 
it was I was sliding off to the right for some reason, and I thought maybe it was just something I was doing. I've never really had that trouble before, but who knew? And it was a, well, this wasn't a brand new chain, but even when I had a brand new chain on it, I was cutting sideways. So that's kind of why I changed that power cut off of there to begin with, because I wasn't sure what the deal was. But I think it was probably this oil issue the whole time. So either way, uh, the saw is fixed, and that's great news. And hopefully sooner than later, we'll get out there and get do some more cutting. Uh, there's some trees in the yard that got to come down and uh, there's down trees out back behind me and I talked to my father-in-law the other day there's some trees across the road on the property that he owns that I'm going to get over there and start taking care of so uh, plenty of cutting to do so now I've got two working saws again which is exciting so I appreciate you guys taking some of your time and hanging out with me today uh, if you're into this kind of stuff please hit the like and subscribe share it with your friends and uh, take it easy guys we'll see you